Hello everybody, my name is John, and today we're playing a different game. We are playing Nuclear Throne. Now, this is another series which can kind of go... Uh, I, I want to say it can, it can run concurrently with any sort of lo uh, let's play that I'm doing, like Rogue Legacy or Dark Souls or whatever. So this is something that I can update pretty much as much as I want and as infrequently as I want, like Rogue Legacy. So it's a little hard to explain this game right off the bat because it just launches you right into it. But anyway, got a bunch of heroes here, characters, whatever. We're just going to start off with Fish. Fish gets more ammo and he has a dodge roll. So Nuclear Throne is a game about a nuclear wasteland. And in the nuclear wasteland, there can be one, only one, who sits upon the nuclear throne. Your goal is to be that person. So I just picked up a slugger, which is actually a very good weapon to pick up right off the bat, and it's actually really nice that I'm getting that for the purpose of demonstration. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, every time that you kill every enemy on a level, that's when you get teleported to the next level. So you have to kind of time when you kill people so that you get enough XP from a level and then move on. Because it's generally a good rule of thumb to go for, uh, try to level up one time each. Okay, I'm going to stop calling it a level. I'm just going to call it a stage because that might get understandably confusing. Because uh, you get these upgrades and I haven't shown you them yet, but... Uh, they're very useful, they help you out. They're called... Actually, yeah, they're called mutations, which fits with the whole nuclear theme. I'm all out of ammo on my slugger here, so I'm just gonna try to pick some of this up and maybe run for this XP over here. Now, this is not a game that I'm good at, at all, and you'll see that pretty soon when I start running into enemies that I'm unfamiliar with. This level's pretty easy to me, but levels in the future are not. So what you keep seeing us stepping over here are, um, I replaced the Slugger with my shotgun, because the shotgun's basically a better version of Slugger. What you see me doing here is I keep running over these, like, maggot hives? Maggot nests? Maggot homes is what I'm trying to get at here. And, uh, whenever you walk over those, they, a bunch of maggots come out. And, see, we're getting some mutations here. Uh, last wish, that's when you're, like really screwed and you're down to one health but you just happen to happen to make it to the next level uh, long arms melee range I don't need that because I'm not using melee in this one um, second stomach more HP from med kits that's useful but not really kills low reload time that seems good for me since I am fish and I have not demonstrated the dodge roll yet and I should probably do that in a second it's just I don't utilize it to its full potential usually. See? Dodge roll. Now I don't know if you're invincible during this dodge roll. Oh shoot. That's the boss. The very first boss. And there's a high probability that I'm going to die here because there's a lot of enemies on the screen. And when you're fighting a boss, it's a good idea to have no enemies on the screen. Yeah. There we go. I already died. Nuclear Throne is a very fast paced game. As you can see, you already get thrown into the menu right after you died. So let's play as Chicken. Chicken here starts with a samurai sword, and his skill is that everything goes in slow motion, including you. That is, unless you get the uh, throne butt upgrade, which upgrades your ability no matter what character you are. Sledgehammer, perfect. This is just a better samurai sword, really. Um, if you get throne butt, then your shots move at the same speed as they normally would, but everything else still moves in slow motion, so that's really useful for Chicken. As it stands, without throne butt, I don't usually uh, use the slow motion, just because I don't normally find it that useful. It's good for maybe dodging some hard to dodge bullets, but if you're really uptight about dodging bullets, then you should probably go for Crystal, who just has a shield that she can hold up and block bullets with. So we have Scarier Face, that's less enemy HP, that's really good, we might actually do that. Impact risk, corpse fly and hit harder. Uh, I don't know about that one. Kills lower reload time, shells bounce further. Alright, let's go with scarier face here. I'm thinking we might actually do pretty good on this run since we got the sledgehammer so easy, and I love the sledgehammer. 
Melee weapons are just fun in this game. I don't know. It's hard to describe why. I know that there are weapons which are so much better, like the crossbow and grenade launcher and everything, but I just have a lot of fun with the sledgehammer. Probably my favorite weapon in the game. So we get tons of bullets here. Let's just go ahead and pick up an SMG uh, in this slot, just in case we run into something that we can't really melee, like a boss. No! Okay, thankfully we got the last XP before we got teleported to the next level here. It's really hard to commentate over Nuclear Throne because, like I said, everything's so fast-paced. As soon as I'm explaining one thing, I'll get shot into the next thing. Yeah, there we go. I already got the boss. Firing this SMG. I'm gonna try to get rid of this scorpion. Because scorpions are the biggest pain in the ass in the game. Minus the bosses, of course. I'm hoping that I'm hitting it. Oh. What you can do with melee weapons is hit back some things. So that's why it, it, it's kind of balanced. And we actually did kill the boss. That's nice. I don't know how often bosses appear in this game. I know that... I think it might actually be kind of random. It's either that or it's on the third stage, because I'm fairly certain that I've gotten it on the second stage before, and um, later on we're going to get to these different areas, like the sewers, and um, there's a place after that with a lot of flying enemies. I don't really know what to call it, but th we're actually doing pretty well here, and that thing kind of sucks you when you don't really have a choice, but I'm going to try to see if I can get any other upgrades while I'm still here? Nope. Okay, I think we leveled up on this floor, that's good. There we go. Okay, Rabbit Paw, more item drops, that's excellent, but I'm quite happy with our current loadout, plus we're probably not gonna live that much longer. Some kills are generating ammo, we don't need ammo. Some hit bullets require become ammo, we don't need ammo. <laughs> energy di weapons deal more damage, yeah we don't have energy weapons, so let's just go with Rabbit Paw. That'll be nice. So this right here is the sewer, and it's very nice to have a gun here like the slugger because there's a lot of very tight packed hallways. So if you have a sledgehammer or a samurai sword, it might be kind of difficult sometimes, especially if you're still with the default samurai sword, because that doesn't do a lot of damage, while the sledgehammer hits pretty hard. So I love it. And I guess we are performing pretty competently here, but the main issue is just how fast they can charge at you. If you miss a shot with your sledgehammer, or hit with a sledgehammer, I should say, you're probably pretty screwed because it'll just take a second and then they'll be on you and you'll lose half your health. See, that could have gone pretty badly right there if I was close to that rat. Screwdriver, that's basically a less good sledgehammer, so there's no reason for me to pick that up. Unless there's some sort of OP screwdriver strategy that I haven't heard of. Now this level, I've never made it past this, so we're, we, we're probably pretty screwed here. Um, there's snipers, there's flamethrower turrets, there are flying enemies, and it's overall pretty difficult. Uh, I want to pick up that slugger down there. Is that a slugger or a shotgun? Double shotgun. I've never ran into that before. Oh my gosh, these things are spewing fire everywhere. I don't know, man. I've got one health left. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep doing this. Double shotgun. That's nice. Oh, okay. See, we're chicken right now. Now, the thing about chicken when it says hard to kill, it means that once you die, you get like five seconds of revenge, basically, where you get to go kill some more things before you're absolutely gone. So we just unlocked Robot here. He finds better tech and he eats guns. Now, I haven't really made good use of Robot. And I'm, why is he blue? That's odd. Usually my robot isn't blue. I haven't made good use of the robot yet, but... Basically, I think that means that we'll find better, like, energy weapons. And, uh, each guns gives you more ammo, so that's always nice. Uh, when you have a gun in your inventory, you can just right-click and then you'll get a lot of ammo. I shouldn't say inventory. I mean, maybe, like, you have to be holding it. And, uh, I didn't really know how it worked when I first started off. Which is pretty bad because I ended up throwing away my guns on accident. Like I had a pretty good one. I think I had like a crossbow or something. And I threw it away because I didn't know what exactly it did. So uh, really trying to avoid those scorpion bullets here. Those are always hard. Let's go ahead and eat our revolver so we can get some more bullets for our SMG. Anything's better than the revolver really. Except maybe the screwdriver. Or a poorly utilized disc gun. 
And I think this is one of those... No, it's just a normal uh, scorpion. Scorpions are really difficult. They're the hardest enemy of the early game, and I was just trying to collect a little more XP there. We unfortunately missed that chest. Again, it's always good to time things. I thought I still had another enemy there, and we just died. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Fast-paced game. Really fast. Just gotta keep talking. Melting is an interesting, interesting character. Now, he only starts with two health. You're thinking, wow, what could possibly justify that? Whenever an enemy dies, he leaves a corpse, right? So when I right-click, corpses explode. So as long as I dodge a lot of hits, and I leave these corpses lying around, I can shoot a lot of people with that explosion. See? Okay, he appeared to not be that affected by that explosion. That was pretty bad, actually. Now the thing is, I can... We're just gonna restart. The thing is, I can actually be damaged by my explosion, so you have to be really careful when it comes to where you are. Wait, actually, I don't know if you can. I always thought you could, but no, you can't. Just kidding, that was entirely wrong. Now what this is doing is sending me a bunch of XP maggots, and uh, no, Sledgehammer, there's no way that's gonna be good here. But the XP maggots are the same sort of thing as the XP things, the, the little green rectangles. Except when you shoot them, they die. And they can hit you, they can hurt you, everything. And I should be using my uh, weapons more. I got a grenade launcher, that's really nice. That That's really helpful in the bosses, because this deals a lot of damage. And it's nice and explosive and everything. And we're going to try to lure out these maggots and then kill them with the explosions. See how nice that is? You just slaughter everything. Alright. So, um... Mutations. Stronger attract power, uh... That gives you, like, a higher chance to attract XP. That, that's probably not that good for us right now. Some shots regenerate ammo, most hit bullets become ammo. Enemies touching you take damage. Um, well, we really can't afford taking damage anyway, because we got one health, so there's no way. Um, it's really between these two, I think. And we're probably gonna have to go with Plutonium Hunger, because we're not gonna get closer to things. Melting, um, gets bigger corpse explosions from Thrown Butt, so that could be pretty good. More item drops, higher ammo max, more HP from medkits. Let's get Thrown Butt! You can tell there's a good sense of humor in this game. It came from the person who made uh, Super Crate Box. I don't know if you've ever played Super Crate Box, but it's an excellent, excellent free game. It's really good. Uh, I can't really describe it. It's one of those games that's unique, like this game. It's got this weird sense of humor and excellent 2D gunplay and uh, really interesting art style, just like this. Exploding corpses is so much fun, man. Unless you play this, I don't think you'll ever understand <laughs> just how much fun that is. You see that? Isn't that awesome? Now, I don't know. I, I thought that once I explode corpses once, they kind of just go away, but apparently I think they like linger or something. Now, I'm trying to get a couple grenades going because uh, I cannot afford to take even one point of damage here, and I know the scorpion's not on my screen. I'm hoping that I damaged him there. If I did, we can kill him and maybe get some corpse explosions going. Melting is a really risky character, but he's so much fun. Okay, I'm thinking that I destroyed him. But I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure because... No! Oh, I just got killed by one little maggot. Oh, man. Okay, well, thank you everybody for watching. This is Nuclear Throne, and I'll be sure to upload more videos of this. And by the way, Dark Souls isn't cancelled, I just, I'm kinda burnt out on it right now. I'll continue it later. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I will see you next time.